Hey guys, this is Steven Nate, and today I'm going to start a new series of um, shortcuts that are possible in one game, possible in that track's remake in another game. So we're going to start off with the two games that are most people's favorites, Mario Kart Wii and Mario Kart 8. So we're going to start with the Mario Kart 8 tracks that were possible in Mario Kart Wii. I actually already recorded the um, Mario Kart Wii version, but um, here are the things that you can note. Um, the shortcuts that are used in the world record of those tracks are the ones that we're going to be counting. Um, and just for fun, the character I'm going to be using is the character that has the world record in that version of the track in the other game. So currently we're on Moomoo Meadows and Mario Kart Wii. The character that has the world record on that track and all three of the tracks we're going to be playing today for that matter is funky kong but funky kong isn't in mario kart 8 so we're going to use the closest substitute which is donkey kong so um as for um moo moo meadows it's a pretty boring track the only shortcut the only notable shortcut here that was used in the world record that i can really talk about here is the simple grass cut right here and it's definitely possible actually I just messed it up somehow because I lost my drift don't ask me how but I somehow did so I'm gonna have to try it again um so yeah I'm just gonna hop before this time and that definitely worked um as much as that turn afterwards didn't work for me the shortcut did work so that's about all we need to know about this um track yeah it's actually the same thing in mario kart we just that one shortcut so um yeah it's a pretty boring one but yeah i'll see you guys on the next track all right now we have grumble volcano and in Mario Kart Wii, the shortcuts in this track are really interesting. So, you might be thinking, why am I using Baby Mario right now? You said all the all the characters in this um, one are Funky Kong. Well, that was not including the glitch person of Rumble Volcano. So, um, we need to try out the glitch first. Which I'm sure you guys know because this is the most iconic Mario Kart Wii glitch. Except for maybe the Wario Goldmine one. Which we're going to do next anyways. So, um, you jump on this rock from up here. And you try to get that. And you try to jump up and then you swirl around the rock in a way where the key checkpoints work. And then you count the lap. But here's the problem. In this version, you can actually get on the rock. I actually didn't even know that until just now. But you lack a two picks you up. I was not even expecting a result that good though, so I'm actually pretty satisfied about that. That was actually really cool. <laughs> like you can go up there. I didn't do the same exact th thing this time. This time, can you go up there when it's falling? No, sadly you can't. So um, I'm gonna switch to the no glitch category now. See you in a second. Okay, I'm back here in, with um Donkey Kong, or as we like to call him now, Funky Kong, because. We're talking about Mario Kart Wii right now. And for Mario Kart Wii, um, the first shortcut is actually pretty far in. And you'll see the same exact thing here. And um, once we, once you get far enough in the video to the Mario Kart Wii section. Um, but the nice part here is that if I fall down... I don't even lose my mushrooms, which is a lifesaver in this game because I could not stop doing that in Mario Kart Wii. Anyways, the shortcut is that, um, it's a lot easier in Mario Kart Wii, or in Mario Kart 8. Mario Kart Wii, that shortcut took a while to pull off, but it's definitely possible. And then there's also another shroomless shortcut that you can do. I messed it up. Actually, the off-road's heavy enough where I'm not sure how possible it's going to be. It's like the same thing that you do at the end of the lap, except you take it less tight. So actually, yeah, it should be possible. That's stupid that I'm saying it's not possible, really. And the last shortcut, is they do on lap 3. And you'll see it when we get there in the track. 
and this track is so much easier than Mario Kart Wii version. You know that, or I'm just better at this game. So, um, I mean, that's kind of a good and a bad thing at the same time. It's a good thing for this video, but it's kind of a bad thing in general, because I like a challenge. But anyways, um, here's the Mario Kart Wii shortcut that I just failed. I know it's possible. So I'm not going to do it again just because of that, but trust me, I know it's possible because it's literally the same thing on that. I will come back and do it in a second after I show off this lap 3 shortcut. Um, but the lap 3 shortcut is actually a really interesting shortcut that I didn't know was used in Grumble Volcano No Glitch in Mario Kart Wii. Like you start by um, going to the left of a rock. I'm trying to look at the camera too much, so I'm not really paying attention to the game. Um, yeah. So you start by going to the left of some rock that you see. And then you jump, and then you do like the ending shortcut in this game. You'll see it right here. But I'm not actually sure if that's going to work. Because... The rock just isn't there in this game because the rock already fell, or I don't think the rock falls in Mario Kart Wii. So I'm going to restart it, and I'm going to try to do it again, and I'll see you in a second. So I'm back here again. Um, I, I still don't see the rock here is the problem, though. There is a rock there in the version, or in the Mario Kart Wii version. And if that's and if the rock's not there, um, on and the and that huge rock is there in the Mario Kart 8 version that blocks off the second part of the shortcut entirely. So actually, I'm pretty sure this short that shortcut is going to be considered impossible. Um, and then on lap two, I'll do the other shortcut just because you guys probably think I'm faking the fact that I know how to do it since I haven't shown proof, which I'm totally fine with because honestly, as you should. Um, and I just fell off the track. I never do that. That was embarrassing. Um, why am I playing like the worst I've ever played when I'm, um, why am I playing like the worst that I've ever played when I'm on camera? Probably because I'm just sitting at a different spot so you, the my, so the camera can hear me. But, oh, I was playing so bad that that already fell. Okay. Um, see you in a second. Guess who's back? It's me again. Um, so I'm actually going to get the shortcut this time is my idea. That basically counted, like... I took it tighter than you're supposed to, but it still technically counts, so that shortcut is possible. Because I just took it tighter, which means it would be possible to take it wider. It would actually be even easier to take it wider. So, um, that's all we have for Grumble Volcano. And I will see you in the last track I'm doing, but not the last track you'll see in the video, the last track you'll see for Mario Kart 8. Alright, we are on Mario's Gold 9 now, um, where we're gonna start by attempting the glitch. And even though it is a glitch that we're on, we're still on Funky or Donkey Kong, depending on what you want to call them. So the glitch here just isn't because there's a railing here and either way I think that pipe isn't even there so um, actually the pipe is there but what you do in Mario Kart Wii as I'm sure most of you know is that you bounce off of the pipe so um, I can't even demonstrate it because it's so close maybe I can just like do this yeah I would have landed on the pipe but, but why does the pipe look so bad in this version I don't know but, the pipe piece looks so old, I don't really like how it looks. But, um, since I'm not switching characters, I'm just gonna let you guys sit through this restarting. It's like two seconds. Um, also, I do want to mention, um, today I started to play, um, Super Mario Bros. 2, aka Doki Doki Panic, but Mario, for the first time, um, ever. And I actually liked it more than people say it. 
it more than people give it credit for. Um, so the first shortcut I'm doing is a simple one. Just that shortcut. That shortcut's really easy in this game. The next one I know isn't going to be possible, especially with the anti-gravity. But you might have saw what I was what I was trying to do. Um, yes, to okay. In Mario Kart Wii, what you do is you mushroom from like. Why is it? Why is the my traction feel so bad right now? Okay, you go like right here, and then you jump over to like right where my head's blocking off right now. So yeah, that's a really hard shortcut. Um, in Mario Kart Wii, and it's impossible in Mario Kart 8. I don't even need to try it any more than that to know that. Um, and the last shortcut is an easy one. All you have to do is it's just this tunnel. Um, and then here's this shortcut also. But um, that's not in Mario Kart Wii, so or it's not faster in Mario Kart Wii. You'll see, you guys will see if it's possible in Mario Kart Wii or not later. Um, but, yeah, um, I'm done recording for, um, this video, but you're not done seeing this video yet. You're only halfway through this video, actually. So, this was perhaps maybe the more interesting part of the video, but, um, yeah, with that being said, um, this video isn't going to be done, but, um, I'll be seeing you guys next time. So, yeah, bye guys. Okay, so now we have, um, the, um, Wii versions of the tracks, the original versions. And we're going to be testing if the Mario Kart 8 shortcuts are possible in Mario Kart Wii. So the first track we got here is Moo Moo Meadows. And unfortunately, the only shortcut that is shown in, um, um, in the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe World 150cc world record is the simple mushroom cut. So... What do you know it's possible? Um, pretty boring, so hopefully Grumble Volcano and Wario's Gold Mine don't have this. Hopefully they have um, shortcuts that are more interesting than this. But with that being said, let's move on to the next one. Okay guys, I just came back from watching the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe World Record of Wario's Gold Mine. And now we got um, two shortcuts for um, this track. They're both just small corner cuts that don't even um, that don't even need a mushroom, I think. But let's just try them anyways. The first one's right here, and you and like I said, it's a small corner cut. That's I didn't do it properly. You you cut that entire corner with it in the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe version. And also I'm gonna restart it because I suck at this game. Okay, I'm back. And then hopefully we don't mess the shortcut up this time. So also fun fact: the 150cc version of Wario's Gold Mine and Mario Kart 8 uses Wario for the world record. Okay, I suck at this game. I main mock bike, so I'm used to using mock bike. I'm just using Flame Runner because, like I said earlier, um, actually it's later for me right now because I'm recording this. I'm recording this after, um, or I'm recording this before the Mario Kart 8 part. But I'm gonna put the Mario Kart 8 section before this. Um, but like I said earlier, the reason I'm doing this is because. I mean, does that count? I'm going to go for this one more time. It should be possible, though, I think. Um, the reason I'm doing... I'm choosing the character that um, the world record uses. So, and that. So, and then, so you're going to see a lot of Donkey Kong in um, the Mario Kart 8 version, I'm sure. Since it's Funky Kong every time Funky Kong isn't in the game, but... I think that should count. I, I think that should count. So yeah, that one's possible. And then there's another one that shows up later in the track, assuming I don't fall off because I suck at this track. Um, but yeah, you'll see it in a second. 
Also, fun fact, the shortcut to the left is an even faster in Mario Party, so, yeah. Here we go. It is right here. There's another one of those same things right here in the Mario Kart 8 version. But, those sadly aren't the case in Mario Kart Wii. So I'll try to get this with a mushroom. But sadly, I think this one's going to be impossible. Oh, okay. Would that count if I get it? I don't even know if that would count or not. I mean, if I can manage to get this, I guess I'll just decide in editing. I don't know. I'm just going backwards because it's quicker. Okay, yeah. I think I was going from too close and it's definitely not possible. So yeah, I'll see you on the next track. Okay, right, so for Grumble Volcano, we have three shortcuts to show off. They're both decently far, or all three of them are decently far into the track, so I don't have to worry about them yet. And all three of these shortcuts are more interesting than the ones on Rubble Volcano, so don't worry. Um, so yeah, I'm going to the first shortcut right now. I'll go to it faster if I don't mess up, but... Okay, well, I'm, I'm terrible at this game, and I'll see you in a second. Okay, hopefully we actually make the easy jump this time, but that's not a good sign because I failed on the exact same... Okay, I'm terrible at this game. Start a montage. Okay, I know this is possible for me to do because 3 for 3 I've got in that other jump. That's literally just the same thing as this, so... And I hit the wall again. Maybe it's because I'm hitting the wall, I don't even know. I'm just not gonna go for the low trick this time. There we go. Okay, but anyways, here's where the first shortcut is. The first shortcut is... Okay, wait. You might see what I was trying to do. Basically, you, you go in after the first set of trees. The first set of trees are those ones right there. And then um, you jump over to the section. Okay. Well, that I didn't even see, so that that's not my fault. Like, I'm not used to using the flame runner, but I'm really not used to using the bullet bike. Like, I never use the bullet bike. If I'm using a lightweight, it's usually as, like, a joke. And I'll use, like, the magic cruiser, because that's fun. Or the, um, or the quacker, just as a joke. Okay, I'm gonna go backwards a little bit, just to make sure I can even get it. I think this one is possible, but might be pretty hard. Or I just fall off right there. Alright, let's see if we can get it this time, actually. If I don't get it this time, I'm not even going to be sure how... Okay, I'm going to start a montage. I'll see you after that. Let's go guys, we got it. Okay, okay. That was a pretty short montage, only two clips. But we got it, okay. And then the next shortcut is over here. It's a shroomless shortcut. You do a trick off of, you'll see. I mean, that's kind of what it was. I mean, our next shortcut that we need to do is on lap three only anyways. So I guess I'll, um. I'll try it again after driving this lap, um, and see how it goes this time. I think that technically counts as su success, but I'll do it again just to make sure. Um, and then the last shortcut, I'm sure you know what it is just because I said it's lap three. It's that, it's that rock that goes down in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Um, I'll give you guys a spoiler alert, that doesn't happen in Mario Kart Wii. But, I, I, okay, that time, that just didn't work. But the rock does fall, so it's going to be interesting. 
I think that was, I think that shortcut was a success though, so I think so far both the shortcuts have been a success. The only shortcut as for Mario Kart Wii that wasn't a success was the second, the ending shortcut in Wario's Goldmine. Um, well, we'll see where I'm at after this, or at the end of this lap, and see if we can do the other one or not because I think it's going to be impossible but I might be proven wrong. He, the world record also doesn't use a mushroom here so that's going to make this even harder for me. Um, okay yeah that's definitely not going to work. Um, that's really, I'm just going to continue it because like I can't use a mushroom for this shortcut technically. It, Actually, I'm pretty sure I tried to use the mushroom for the Wario's Goldmine one, so yeah, that's totally legal, actually. I don't know what I'm saying, but, um, it's definitely not going to happen without a mushroom, so I'll see you after the, after the rock drops. Okay, we're back again. This time, I'm going to actually get the shortcut. You'll see in a second. I'm not going to trick off there, just to make the shortcut easier. Let everything roll up, and I don't really, and I try to go way too far. My god. Okay, I'm back for the last time in Mario Kart Wii. And actually this video, because like I said, I haven't recorded the Mario Kart version yet, but that is going before this. As you guys know, this time I'm just going to take the time to align, because I really need to make this shortcut now. Um, if not, I'm going to have no sanity left. Um, so I'm going to take my hand off the control stick, do this. Oh my god, I, I keep failing it. Okay, this is the last two minutes I'm doing and then it's impossible. Also, I just realized, um, I already passed the sign, but there's a sign like right at the beginning of Grump Volcano. If I can find a picture, I'll show it to you. Um, a picture of like a weird looking volcano, but that volcano looks just like the volcano of Luncheon Kingdom from Mario Odyssey. So did they already have in mind in like, like what Luncheon Kingdom was going to be before? Okay, I've never seen that happen before. But I think you get what I'm saying. They had an idea of Luncheon Kingdom way before Odyssey. This time I'm just going to align way to this direction just to make it so that like it won't be as far but it'll still technically work right I need this fire thing to go out of the way there we go I think that should technically count so yeah guys with that being said this video is going to be done like subscribe and turn on notifications bye bye